redditors within self friends or acquaintances, what is the actual problem that they just don't get. I came into this thread looking for a couple interesting stories, wound up seeing a lot of red flags about myself. 26 yo, never been in a serious relationship, perpetually shti personality, haven't made any real friends outside of work since I took a full time job. Step 1 is realizing you have a problem. Where do you start with fixing something like this? How do you change something as major about yourself as your personality? My roommate recently said to me if she even has a little bit of body fat, that's a deal breaker and it's not that he doesn't get laid, but it's been probably 5 years since he had ex that he didn't fly to Southeast Asia for. He has a dead end job and no degrees or marketable skills but wants to make more money so he can date hot girls. I offered to recommend him for an entry level job at the giant corporation where I work but he turned out down because the hours were too early. The actual problem is that his only criteria for a partner is looks and he doesn't bring that much to the table himself. If she even has a little bit of body fat, that's a deal breaker. How fat is this guy? Not a friend or an acquaintance, but my uncle. The man is almost 60. He has never lived outside of his parents house and, despite having a nursing degree, not only has never had a job but has never once had a day where he didn't refuse to look for one. His hobbies are literally to drink in his room, jack off, and stake out random places in town to catch people doing something he doesn't like littering, wearing something inappropriate, etc and get their license plate number so he can harass them. Oh, but don't worry. He hides behind payphones and any other method he can use to be a coward. His car? A 2018 Chevy Cruze his mother pays for. His excuse for never looking for a job, by the way, is because his back hurts. No injuries or any health issues, it just hurts. Screw finding a desk job, his back hurts there as well even though he can spend 4-8 hours sitting in his car doing frick all. He's also an insufferable bigot with his opinions on top of being one of those people who has to know literally everything about everyone and doesn't know how not to start a fight or say something that isn't belligerent. He constantly whines about never once having a girlfriend because they're all oz who like pieces of shit instead of good guys that will treat them right. What he doesn't get is he can't get a woman because he is. Him. Not a single thing redeemable about him and I haven't even scratched the surface in describing just how worthless and despicable a human being he is. I seriously don't know what this idiot is going to do when his mother dies and she does everything for him. I've had a friend for many years. He basically wants a woman in her 30s he's about 50, who is very religious, a virgin of course, never married, supermodel gorgeous, doesn't have cats isn't catholic, and doesn't smoke. At my wedding he drooled all over my thrice divorced Jewish best friend, because she is gorgeous. Therefore my opinion is that he's just interested in the gorgeous part of that list and the rest would fall by the wayside if he found someone attractive enough. He doesn't fit the typical incel category, the dude is freaking jacked. He actually helped me when I started lifting. However, he is dumb as a box of rocks, and has zero personality. Like, none at all. P. Likes cars? That's about the only thing that I think is genuinely his thing. The rest is just random bits of machismo that he's incorporated into his image. This is because he doesn't seem to think of women as people. He feels like there's a list of things that, if you achieve them, you will get a woman like in the mail, I guess, since he never goes to social places and doesn't do online dating. His muscles? They're to impress women. The truck he can't afford but drives anyway? It's to impress women. The shti beard? Yep. It's to impress women. He also carries a too large knife everywhere. Hangs half-naked playboy posters on his walls, wears boots and a cowboy hat though had never left the city, etc. I've tried explaining that, muscles or not, 
No woman wants someone who is so obviously fake. I don't even know what you're into besides lifting and cars. He seems to show interest in my geeky hobbies, but never take me up on my offers to join because nah, man, I'm not nerdy, except he asks about them constantly. I really feel bad for him. He's a 25 year old man who has a good job and takes care of himself. If he dropped the damn act for 30 freaking seconds, I bet some girl would love to date him. Edit, so apparently this resonates with people. To answer a few common comments. He is probably not gay. He has had a few women show interest, and he immediately texts them far too much and takes it to a exult place way too quickly. I've seen the texts. With his poor spelling and grammar, he sounds like a goddamn serial killer via text. This usually causes them to run for the hills really quickly. This is upsetting to him. He does seem to honestly want to date women, and he does a decent job of attracting them initially, but he cannot stick the landing. His personality is a hodgepodge of random masculine ideals. It's very clear that they're not who he is, he is just associated those things with success with women. This is especially noticeable during those texts, as he shoehorns those things into every conversation. He makes a big deal about the women he wants. They should be short, white, large-breasted ex-fiends, who are also virgins, and are fiercely loyal. The last one that he was texting was a Hispanic single mother of two from two different dads. She was a sweet girl who was very pretty, but did not meet his self-proclaimed standards. To which he didn't seem to mind. Nerdy hobbies, he plays some video games. Mostly racing games. He seems to be interested in tabletop games, but won't come to game night. It's very clear that he's scared of being judged for these hobbies. It's worth mentioning that we're in the south, and he's from a city in the deep south. The truck, it's huge, brand new and costs 900 slash month between gas, insurance and the payment. He can technically afford it, but he has to give up a lot to do so he's making 40k. Finally, I may have convinced him to take down the damn posters. I haven't been to his place in a while, but he seemed to be agreeing with me about how off-putting they would be to women not that one has ever gotten that far. Now we just have, dress like a person not a cigarette ad, talk to women like they're people not mobile vaginas, and learn to show interest in things outside of the stereotypical manly things you follow. Baby steps, though. Coming on way too awkwardly strong, insisting on hugging every girl he sees, non-stop Facebook messages and phone calls even to girls with boyfriends. If she's already dating someone, you're wasting your time dude. He's good looking, if he would stop the borderline exile harassment he'd be dating someone by now. I knew a guy like that. He asked every girl out. Constantly. It got to the point where women would warn other women about him in advance, hey, there's going to be this guy there who asks out every girl he meets. He's harmless, so just ignore him, he once, due to tunnel vision, accidentally asked a girl out right in front of her boyfriend. I'm told women found his shotgun approach annoying not just because he came on too strong but also because it shows a lack of personal interest in them as an individual. Apparently women and men. If they are going to go on a date with you, want to feel like there is something you like or value about them in particular and not just that you are looking for a placeholder person. The story has a surprisingly happy ending, though. Other than his approach to women, he had a lot of things going for him. Really nice guy, smart, decent looking, good job. He was never a creep, he just tried way too hard. He ended up growing out of it, partly through friends guiding him in the right direction and I'm sure partly through just maturing. He's now happily married with two kids. And his wife isn't some loser that a desperate person settles for, she's actually kind of a catch. He claims he hasn't always been in cell, but for as long as I've known him he's never had a girlfriend or even a passing fling. And it's all because of his personality. Highly opinionated about pretty much everything. 
ultra fanboy for certain films has a vast collection of toys and other memorabilia, dedicated an entire spare bedroom to the collection. On the surface he is a nice guy but he goes from 0-60 fast with his terrible opinions. I have a friend like this. He's early 40s and I've known him for 20 years. In that entire time I think he got laid maybe 4 times. Max. He's a really nice guy and in great shape bikes a lot, great cook. But he's a know-it-all to the point that you can't hang out with him for long. And he does it to everyone. If I say, I'm so mad, my car battery died again I'll get what you need to do is, or if you say, I'm not really into the Olympics and none of my shows are on this week, you get what you need to do is go on Netflix and watch. No matter the topic or anything you cover really, he takes this tone like he has to tech or explain everything to you patiently. I don't think he means to be a D, but especially when dating. No woman wants to be mansplained to about every topic she brings up in casual conversation. The women flee. I have this friend too. He is tall, fit, attractive, smartish, funny, dresses well, has an okay job, and definitely emits a cool guy vibe. Tons of girls approach him but then immediately change their minds when he opens his mouth and starts going on about men's rights and how he loves to troll SJWs on the internet. He is in his early 30s by the way, not a teenager. Obviously 99% of women are put off by that but he remained steadfast that it's because all women are so shallow that they must not find him attractive or are lesbians. Honestly most of the time a woman is not interested in him he jumps through these mental hoops and convinces himself it's because she is a lesbian. I was close with this guy in college who, though he probably wouldn't say it, is an incel. Total neck but oh why aren't girls into me kind of thing. He was convinced it was because he was overweight and nerdy and that women were too shallow to see what a great guy he was. But here's the thing, fat people get laid all the time. If they are a fun, cool, kind not nice person, then you shouldn't have a problem. The one thing he, and probably most incel neckbuds nice guys need to hear is a quote from the movie The Social Network but you're going to go through life thinking that girls don't like you because you're a nerd. And I want you to know, from the bottom of my heart, that that won't be true. It'll be because you're an a-hole. Did he ever try fricking other fat people? Like, you gotta be self-aware and it seems a lot of these incel guys try to pitch way out of their league. He doesn't put any effort into his appearance, and doesn't really ever talk to anyone other than me and his two other friends all male, he's straight. He will occasionally talk about wanting a girlfriend, and we will try to set him up on dates but then he chickens out. Edit, guys, I know he has social anxiety. That doesn't mean he doesn't want to have ex. Don't you think a lot of people who are involuntarily celibate have some sort of social issues? One is a straight up creep. He openly talks about how much he's into lolican. He wants a girl that looks like she's 12 and also likes all of the neckbody hobby stuff that he's into like wargaming and tauhau. He had a girl interested in him once before that he wrote off because she was too fat she was barely chubby and wants a 10 stroke 10 while he himself looks like Gollum. One is an insufferable sad sack. He constantly self deprecates with forever alone type stuff. Bezan moans about being a nice guy, gave himself a stupid nickname Panda, and constantly uses it to refer to himself in the third person. The last is attractive, funny, sociable, intelligent, and stable. He's tried fix-ups and online dating, but nothing really works out compatibility-wise. He'll make a great catch for the right lady, he just hasn't had much luck yet. I hate when people call themselves lolican. In Japan, that's what you call a pedophile. My family is from Japan and that's what they called pedos. He wants a girl that looks like she's 12. Hello, police? But, seriously, that's creepy as frick, why do you still talk to him? Bit of a different strain of incel. He's not opinionated or a sarcastic a-hole or a contrarian. He's the opposite. He has no opinions. No personality, nothing. He's mild, 
flavorless, and bland. No passion, no drive. He's either the most boring guy in existence, or the most repressed guy in existence. Either way, that's not exactly going to bring in any girls. Yeah, he's a nice guy, but that's literally it. No one can say he's a fun guy. No one can say he's an interesting guy. No one can say he's a generous or charitable. He's literally just nice and inoffensive. And when the world is filled with nice and inoffensive guys who are also smart funny interesting. When someone you don't even know describes you perfectly. Where does the Japanese obsession come from? I moved to Japan over 10 years ago and I've heard about the weirdos, but I don't think I've ever actually met one in real life. Not here or in other countries I've lived in like the UK or Australia. Why Japan in particular rather than any other country? Why is it always anime? I actually met a reverse weirdo once. It was a Japanese guy that was obsessed with American culture. Same mannerisms, slightly overweight, Fedora actually may have been a beanie, social awkwardness, etc. Was in a bar in Golden Gate a few days after Christmas. To his credit, his English was much better than my Japanese. Check out this YouTube 2 part like 20 40 minutes total doc someone did call down the rabbit hole anime I think. He does a breakdown of the cultural situations that brought up anime and otaku as well as the values they present that resonate with people. Beyond that though I feel that there's a strong sense of counterculture that they latch on to as outcasts, the train of thought basically being I'm not accepted by this society it's not me this society sucks those other guys definitely have it right combined with a higher level of Japanese media in the west compared to really any other foreign media. I'm a huge nerd of girl, so I've met plenty of those kinds of guys, I've tried to help and they don't or won't listen when I tell them maybe your personality could be better. You're pretty hateful sometimes, girls won't flock to you the more zist jokes you make and treating women like idiots that can't enjoy comic books or insert other thing. You tell them to dress nicer, bathe, clean up their appearance, clean and cut their hair and style it and they think you're trying to turn them into a normie. Like you can pull off the whole nerd look without being a stinky hamburger scented ragamuffin. I choose to be a virgin, okay, Edwin. Sure. You're 31 yo. And a chronic masturbator. The problem is, my friend is a quintessential neck but we boo. He considers himself an intellectual and anyone who doesn't share his beliefs is beneath him. He wants a petite, Japanese virgin. She's gotta be perfect. She has to have a slightly protruding canine tooth because it's Koi, he's already limited himself to a niche demographic of women, and he has nothing to offer except his 1996 Honda Civic DX with 203,000 miles. So why am I friends with him? I feel bad for the guy. If he shaved his patchy beard, lose 100 pounds, work out regularly, and stop pushing his beliefs onto people. He might actually get a girl. Doesn't have to be a petite, Japanese virgin with a slightly crooked canine tooth. The completely artificial and unrealistic expectations are just a cushion for the fact women aren't interested in him. Such is life. You win some, you lose some. Better luck next time. He's actually super thin and lanky. Weird moustache thing going on not a full beard and wears sunglasses all the time. You're not dating anyone because you will never ever find Beyonce booty, Pamela Anderson titties, Cheryl Eyes Theron waist size, and Hathaway face, Taylor Swift popsicle legs, and Nicki Minaj X drive in one woman. It's just never going to be a thing. If that person exists, then we're in a new age of Jurassic Park. You could, however, clean up a bit and go talk to normal girls who have nice jobs as an office receptionist and gets dental. Normal girls who have nice jobs as an office receptionist and gets dental. Oh, look at Brad Pitt over here, dating a girl who gets dental. Perceiving yourself as superior to other people will push them away. And if everyone is an a-hole, maybe you should check if you're not the a-hole. If everywhere you go you smell dog sh 
You might want to check the bottom of your own shoe. My stepson is totally an incel. He doesn't take pride in his appearance or wash his clothes and he wonders why he's alone. His dad has tried discussing this with him but he just blames everyone else for his lack of ladies. Like once he blamed liberals as a whole. LOL. The thinking there is that if liberals didn't invent feminism, women won't be able to tell him no and or think they're too good for him. They're a contrarian weebly hardcore one upper chronic masturbator. If anything is remotely good and or popular, it's garbage in their eyes and will go at great lengths to tell you why. They're obsessed with anime and any Japanese cultural phenomenon. If you say you've done something, they'll either put you down by saying it's in no way impressive or come up with something more fascinating they've experienced or witnessed. The last one goes without saying. If you start talking to them, they'll constantly turn things around to some soft core pornography photo that you should check out. Everyone who knows them are 99.95% sure he is a virgin. They're the kind of person who supposedly gets random hookups with out of town girls who disappeared, never to be heard from again. While their girlfriend goes to another school obviously. You wouldn't know her. Short version, unrealistic expectations. She must look like a supermodel post hair brushing at all times, be a virgin, cook, clean, and generally being treated like a possession while putting up with a dude that can't remember when he last showered, and isn't sure if the underoos he's wearing were clean when he put them on. That, and the guy has the personality of a wet cat. I mean seriously, a grown man that behaves like the mean girl from the latest Disney tween dramedy. It would be hilarious if he weren't so annoying, and well, offensive to the senses. Seriously, fuck nuts, take a freaking shower. With soap at least once a day, wash clothes at least once a week. Signed, literally freaking everyone at work. P.S. Sarah isn't a stuck-up bee. She just won't frick you because she's got a functioning nose, and well, she's happily married with two kids, a swipe. My cousin doesn't understand that women like to take care of themselves, or I guess a lot of them do. He has only had one girlfriend and she was his first everything. She broke up with him and he hasn't been with anyone since. Her biggest complaint was that he was consistently needy and showering her with attention all the time. For example, he'd always want to hold hands and feed her and never let her do it herself. Now he complains that he's too dark and fat for any girl to love him he's in his 30s. Also super elitist about his interest horror films and will say you're an idiot for saying X film wasn't as good in your opinion as he thought it was. God, he is so exhausting sometimes. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment.